Welcome back to another Python tutorial. Today's video will be part of a series of videos where we cover the basics of Python. And before we get started, we have to choose what environment we're going to use to write our code. The one I'm using is called MU, and you can download it from this website right here, codewith.mu. If you'd like to use a different editor, that's completely fine. There may be some differences with how you run the code, but you should be able to follow along just fine. Okay, so go ahead and spend some time researching the editors and choose whichever one you think is going to work best for you. And once you do, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so what we're going to be doing in our first Python video is displaying the message Hello World onto the screen. This is a common practice whenever you're either new to programming or you're learning a new language. So let's go ahead and start by getting that out of the way. So to display information on the screen with Python, we use a print function. And we'll be getting more into what a function is later on. But for now, to display that message, what we're going to do is we're going to say print. We're going to use open parentheses. And we have to put our message inside the parentheses. But one thing we have to note, if we're putting letters, characters, or words, we have to include those inside of quotation marks. So we're going to do quotation mark. And then our message is going to be hello world. And then we have to remember to close the quotation marks and also the parentheses. So what we have is we have our print function. Inside of the function is the message that we want to display, which is hello world. And we enclose that message inside of quotation marks. So now if I want to run this code to see what it does, I can come up to the top here and press run. If this is the first time you're running the program, it's going to ask you to save it. So go ahead and just save it with whatever name you want. And then go ahead and press save. Once you do, the output or the result of your code is going to be displayed down at the bottom here and the output is the message hello world. If I go back up to the top here and change my message, so maybe instead of hello world, I want to say hello universe. I can do that, and if I rerun the program, the message will be updated down below. Okay, so let's say for some reason we forgot to put the quotation marks. Let's go and run the code without the quotation marks and see what happens. So if you do run it without the quotation marks, you're going to see an error message down below here. So it also tells you what type of error it is. So in our case, it's a syntax error. Some other useful information, it tells us what line the error occurs on. So this occurs on line 1. So obviously, if we only have one line, that's not very useful. But later on, when we're writing more lines of code, it's going to be helpful to know exactly what line we're having the issue on. Another thing it does, it tries to point to the area where it's causing a problem. So in our case, something's happening within the parentheses. So whenever you see something like this, it's always a good idea to check to make sure you included your quotation marks. Okay, so just a few other things to keep in mind. You can use double quotations instead of single quotations. So you can do something like that if you like. And that works just the same. However, you can't include double quotations in the beginning and single quotations at the end. That will result in an error. Okay, so just whichever way you choose, either single or double quotations, just make sure you're consistent about it. Okay, let's say we want to print two lines of information. What we can do is we can include another print statement. So let's change this one to hello, my name is, and then down the second part we'll put our name. And then we'll see what happens when we run the code. So now we have two lines of information. The first one says hello with an extra L by accident. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. So the first line says hello, my name is. And the second line says Mike. Okay, there's another way of doing the exact same thing. If you don't want to use two print statements, what you can do is you, you can include it in one statement. But before the word Mike here, what you're going to do is put the backslash symbol and the letter N. So now if I run the code, it prints this part, hello, my name is, on one line, and the word Mike on the other. So what this is, this means to print on a new line. So whenever Python is going through your code and sees this, whatever comes afterwards, it'll print on a separate line. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stop here for today's video. In the next one, we're going to be taking a look at variables, which is how we can store information. So I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.